大家好，我是看台球的冯冯。本期跟各位小伙伴分享的是因为三次没有解到球而被判负的两局比赛。丁俊晖执着解球，也因此榜上有名。下面咱们一起来看一下。首先出场的是泰国选手德查瓦普金。对于这位泰国选手而言，比赛或许只是一种享受，而搞笑那是绝对的认真。大家一会儿仔细看。关于斯诺克中三次没有解到球被判负的规则，取决于白球是否能够直接击打到目标球。如果白球无法直接击打到目标球，那么就是一杆漂亮的斯诺克，否则是不存在三次解不到球被判负的。这里大家要记得区分。另外，裁判会在球员第二次击球后进行提醒，大概意思你已经两次没有打到目标球了，如果第三次还没有成功，这局就判你输。Okay, you happy with that, Michael? Thank you. That's pretty good. So once again, thinner rather than thicker. But of course, if he misses the ball again, he'll be warned. And he has missed the ball again, so now he'll be warned. So he'll be playing a different shot. Oh, That's one thing for certain. Michael Whitefall. <laughs> it just put number two, <laughs> so so he knows he's going to be warned. Just letting the crowd know that's his second try. Yeah, for a shot like this, the spider's too high. Really,、um, there is an attachment you can put on the rest. If... 接下来登场的是丁俊晖。从这个角度，我们可以看到白球可以直接打到红球，但是丁俊晖想要一个更加完美的处理方式，因此选择了解球。A little bit short pace here. Has it got there? Just. Oh, foul! Not just. Look at myself. Four. Hmm. Well, he's having it replaced. There looked to be a red that was potable into the left corner. Maybe it wasn't. Expecting to make the adjustment. <laughs> oh, that's unbelievable! There's a gap. There's always a gap. 非常的可惜，两次解球都只差了那么一丁点儿Whispered a warning here. He's got to hit it this time, otherwise he forfeits the frame, and he's going the same way. Surely he's got to hit the balls. There's enough of them up there. He's a bit short with pace again. Has he just got enough on it? Oh no! Is he going to hit? 或许丁俊晖认为自己第三次有把握解到红球，可惜没有成功，也因此输掉了本局比赛。因为三次解球没有成功而被判负的比赛，大家还记得有哪些吗？欢迎在评论区留言。如果你也喜欢冯冯的视频，记得点赞关注哦。